For many people, a citizen is a member of a particular country with defined legal rights. Still, others think a citizen is someone who can travel to other countries with a passport. But citizenship is really much more than that. It concerns how we act and how we treat each other. We also associate being a citizen with access to many different opportunities and public benefits. When this occurs, communities tend to reflect three core ideas. All people are equal and worthy of respect. Individual differences promote diversity. We create belonging when people work together. Unfortunately, many communities fall short in achieving these ideas. If they are to become places where everyone matters, we must act in ways that support the common good. This means we need to learn from each other, share what we learn, cooperate with our fellow citizens, and welcome everyone into community and stand up for the value of citizenship. When we learn from others, we discover new possibilities. When you talk with someone, listen, show interest in their ideas, be respectful, ask questions. You will be inspired by what you can learn. Do things that broaden your understanding of citizenship. Read books, articles, and blogs. Watch videos online. Follow thought leaders on social media. Attend conferences, workshops, and community cultural events. When you can, meet people from different walks of life. Everyone has a story to tell. If you have the opportunity, talk with those who have been excluded in some way and learn about their experience. Be curious when you talk to friends and colleagues about where they live. You'll be surprised to find out what different people and groups are doing to advance citizenship for those who have been marginalized in some way. Use the knowledge you gain to think about how you can help people in your own community. Another powerful way to support efforts to create lasting change is to seek ideas from people you don't usually talk with. And remember, if we hope to transform our human services so they become more responsive to the needs of all citizens, we must learn from those who have thought deeply about the complex problems they face. So here we are in the modern 21st century saying, what can we do about that? And so most of us think, okay, I'm going to invent a program. And you know what? We've been trying that for generation after generation. And what we've discovered is that the dial hasn't really moved on poverty, homelessness, abuse against women, discrimination toward people with disability, segregation, or exclusion. Those have not advanced as much as we would like, and in some cases haven't advanced at all. Part of the reason is that we are throwing programmatic solutions at what is at base a cultural challenge that the habits and attitudes and beliefs and values that led to the creation of poverty or exclusion or segregation uh, haven't gone away completely. When we share what we learn, others benefit from our knowledge and experience. Write a story or blog. Share information with your network. Make a video about what citizens are doing to make their communities more inclusive. If you have skills or knowledge others can benefit from, join a local community building project. Don't be afraid to take a leadership role. Make presentations at conferences, workshops, and other learning events on topics about citizenship if you can. Have fun and tell stories, but always make sure the audience understands your message. In your day-to-day -day conversations with friends, neighbors, and colleagues, explore the different ways that they express their own citizenship. Don't be afraid to share your ideas, even if they're different. If you have experiences or important ideas you would like to share, think about becoming a mentor. This is a great way to help others grow, particularly younger, less experienced people. As a young man, I had the advantage of having a number of mentors in my life. Some of them were formal mentors, while other were more informal mentors that may not even have been aware of what they were offering to me. I like to think that with each one of them, I've taken a part of them, who they are, what they believed in their wisdom, with me as I've gone forward in life. I see it now as I'm past middle age and heading towards my 60s, 
has a citizenship responsibility to give back to the community. One of the ways to do that is through mentoring younger people. I'm doing that, of course, with people in my sector, the disability area, where I like to have opportunities to mentor young leaders to make great leaders for the future. I'm also doing that with athletes. To me, this is an important responsibility that we all have as we get older, is to take the wisdom that we've accumulated and share that with others. And in that way, we're committing to our own and to their citizenship. We cooperate with our fellow citizens when we connect and act together. Achieving an objective often requires cooperation with others. Be open-minded. Seek to understand before you disagree. And always be prepared to compromise so you can move forward. If your work impacts people's citizenship rights and opportunities in some way, talk with them so you can understand their experiences and the challenges they face before you act. People with disabilities have been saying this to anyone who would listen for decades. Nothing about us without us. If you're a member of a helping profession, like social work, join a community of practice. You can learn new things, share knowledge, and support others in common cause. Remember these two simple words in everything you do. Diversity includes. This will support your efforts to promote citizenship and belonging. We work in disability services, but often collaborate with different groups in our community that share our goals around inclusion. Cooperation like this happens all over the world. It's the most effective way to address the challenges that people who are marginalized face every day. In Finland, a group of community organizations participated in Not For Sale, A Mytävänä, a campaign against commercial tendering and public procurement practices in disability services. We collected way over 50,000 names into a petition that brings this important topic to the Finnish parliament and creates a change. You're not alone. You can put your idea out there and find friends, allies and supporters for your innovations and campaigns. We can build better communities together. We welcome everyone into community when we reach out to those who are excluded. Begin by treating people you know or meet like you would want to be treated if you were in their shoes. Be inquisitive. Ask about their experiences. New immigrants, refugees, minorities, the homeless and the elderly are at risk of marginalization or exclusion. Do your part to make them feel welcome. All citizens deserve to feel like they belong. If a neighbor needs assistance, offer to help. When you're walking in your neighborhood, say hello to people, whether you know them or not. Your actions will help people feel they are a valued member of their community. Participate in activities that support citizen engagement. For example, join a community garden or volunteer with an organization that supports refugees or people who are poor. Every community has many different opportunities like this. There are also groups everywhere that promote acceptance, diversity, and social inclusion. An example is Citizen Network, which is working to create a world where everyone matters. Join today. It's open to everyone. We stand up for the value of citizenship when we get involved in social action. Stand up and speak out for people's rights. If someone is being taken advantage of, explain what they're entitled to. Advocate on their behalf and help them achieve a fair outcome. Sometimes the actions a person takes because of their convictions can have a global impact on issues that affect the lives of many people, like sterilization. As a committee, we thought no one should be sterilized without their say. We felt very strongly about it. Our lawyers were very supportive and all nine judges agreed with our committee. The Eve case was important because sometimes people are still being sterilized without their consent. As far as I know, Eve doesn't know how famous she is. Eve was 24 at the time, not her real name. She doesn't know how important she is to everyone. It is important to remember that people don't get sterilized without their consent. 
If it has to happen for any reason, it should be for medical reasons only. If there are unfair laws, policies, or practices, join a protest, participate in civil disobedience, or write a letter to the editor of your local paper. Ask people from different countries to share their values and practices. Show them that you respect their culture and support their journey. Be a role model for others, at home, at work, and in the community. Be humble, because there will be times when you may need to change your behavior. Make your workplace diverse and inclusive. Shop at businesses that welcome everyone. Demand that publicly funded services treat the people they serve with dignity and respect. Hold government accountable. Demand that your elected representative supports policies and laws that benefit all citizens. Consider running for elected office yourself. And always remember to vote. It can make a difference. Our job as friends of government, our job as citizens, in other words, is to increase the capacity of our governments to perform at its peak. That's the job of a citizen. Citizenship matters to everyone. While we can't change people around us, we can influence their actions through our values and attitudes and our behavior. However, we must always act with integrity and honesty and show respect for others. You may ask yourself, what can I do? It's really very simple. You can choose to make a difference. Stop saying I wish. Start saying I will. Lead by example. This will inspire others to act in ways that help create communities where people can flourish and be the best they can be. A world where everyone matters.